when we sold the business, even at that point, I knew how important mindset was. And so I said, you know what, I, I have a job to do. We've made a commitment about to our people that work here to, to our partners about what, what we're going to do. And I said, I'm just going to do this work and see how it goes. But at a certain point, and it wasn't that long after the deal, I just knew that that wasn't my highest calling anymore. One of the things I've learned to, to do is to pay attention to how I feel when I'm doing the work. You know, if I'm pushing an idea I no longer believe in, I realize the idea isn't good yet. If I'm trying to create energy in my own self about something, it's just not me anymore. And at a certain point, it, I started to realize that. And, and I think I could diagnose it in a lot of ways, but maybe the ugly reality is that part of, and, and the conceit of creating this world is that it also does have to kind of be mine. I want it to be mine in the sense that I'm with people who I know deeply share those values or, and the vision around what world we're trying to create. And at a certain point, when you're, once you've sold a business to a very large company, you, you just simply have to say objectively, the reality is that it's not ours anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and I, I don't judge. I don't, in fact, one of the, one of the great learning moments for me was to let it go. Mm -hmm. And to say there's a profound beauty in this not being ours anymore. Mm -hmm. And whether it thrives or whether it doesn't, that's actually part of life. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the, the space that is there for those of us that create new, it almost needs to be a part of life.